Welcome to this broadcast of two of three broadcasts, the second of three broadcasts here from the Champlin Ice Forum in Champlin, Minnesota. Thieves 37s will take on the Minnesota Lakers in the 2013 level. Thieves smoked the Lakers in the 2014 level in our game one, 11 to one, hoping for a little tighter contest here between the Lakers and Thieves. First year of the Youth Elite League on tap here. Ready to go. Lakers in white, Thieves in I don't know what you want to call this. Red, black, tan. A lot of different colors and a lot of different stripes. <laughs> we'll just say that. Travis Collins, the operator of the Thieves, does a really nice job with his program. Shot on, saved by one of the three goaltenders from the Lakers. Met him earlier today, Liam Castro. Liam had the St. Michael Albertville bag as he rolled in today. Stops the puck and gets a face off to his glove hand side. Christensen on the draw for the Thieves. Can't pull it off. Now into his own corner goes Jack LeBlanc for the Lakers. They try to break it out. Christensen to his backhand. Knocked off the puck. Laker D-man goes down. Now a shot blocked. Wolfstrom will feed it back. To Declan Holton. Holton retreat into his own zone. Got some nice white gloves. He'll enter the zone, wrist shot, pad save Castro. Picked up by Cullen Jackson behind his net. He'll battle a little bit, Ezra Olsen behind the net. Well, long B, we're gonna ice though, it's waved off. Picked up behind his own net is Bodie Bloomdahl. And holding it in. Is Dylan Stums. He's met Dylan uh, outside the locker room, or in the locker room, actually, uh, learning the names of the players. And I asked him, is it pronounced Stomes or Stums? And he's like, Stums, like Stump. So I'll get it right today, I promise, Dylan. Back to the point, shipped out. Stums with it. Angle passes one off the wall, that's intercepted. Olsen picks it up for the Thieves. Picking up, feeding it through the defender's skates right on net, Castro makes the save. And the Lakers will try to break it out, they can't. They get denied, Greshner picks it up. Now chasing it down is Prohoda. Prohoda feeling it out, feeds it back to the point. Held in by Greshner, Greshner's shots wide of the net by a few feet. They'll battle along the half wall as the Thieves apply some pressure. Thieves give away the blue line. Greshner gets it back, dumps it up, and Collins will chase it down. He can't control it. Greshner will go back to his own zone as the Lakers try to put on a little pressure. Collins can't control it for the Thieves. Now he does. Miles Collins streaks through. Now the puck comes in the high slot. Chasing after it's shot. Save Castro. Gissinger with it. Tries to clear it. Can't. Held in Olsen. There's a few Olsons on this squad, I believe. Two of them, Ezra and Remington. Hustle by Vensky. Now Holton 
Clears it up. Here's Holmstrom. Holmstrom enters the stick. Little pink tape on his stick. And a glove save by Castro. He's had about five or six saves already today. Fed through the middle. Intercepted by the Lakers. Stumps. Stumps. He'll fire one off the wall right at the blue line. Hits off a defender of the Thieves. Stick and into the zone. Prada with it. To the hash mark, gets it out, but not all the way. Now in transition, Phelps through the crease. Laker in front, couldn't get a stick on it. Now back the other way. Christensen has Holmstrom. Holmstrom can't come up with it, just slides off his stick as he was about to fire it. Two Lakers pressuring the point there. No luck. Now the Lakers will slap it out, but held in by Holton. Holton, Rister. That one goes wide. Castro now with about his ninth save here in the first five minutes. Goaltender for the Thieves is a call-up. Connor Weeman on the roster, but he does play for the Thieves select squad. He'll be playing uh, Andrew Haskell out due to illness. And we'll see if Weenman can uh, come up big here today for the Thieves in their first game of the Youth Elite League. And our schedules are populating nicely with games throughout the spring and summer between teams from all over the state. This one's chipped in by number 92, Jack LeBlanc. And a big collision right at the lower end of the dot. No call. This one pops out, held in nicely by Gissinger. Gissinger feeds high slot, shot through. That one's a body check, no call there. Behind the net, now a chance. Gissinger chases Sandstrom. Sandstrom shot, pad save. Castro on a nice little wrist, wrist shot by Jack Sandstrom. Feeding it in front, tip. Pucks loose in front. Steering it away are the Lakers. Lakers very disciplined defensively. They were like this on Saturday as well in their game against the Blue Army. Thieves battle for it. Prohoda finds the stick of Olsen. Olsen stick handles through some traffic, feeds it into the corner. He'll get a line, they'll get a line change. And wow, the Thieves just look like a well-oiled machine out there right now. Much like their 14s were just great puck movers all night. And we're gonna get an icing with 7.42 to go here in the first period of three here from the Champlain Ice Forum. Tony Scott, Youth Hockey Hub's presentation of the Youth Elite League. Three games here tonight in Champlain, three in Andover. We're taking over the north side, baby. The 7.63 is ours tonight. The Frozen Four has, has St. Paul. We got the rest of the state covered right now. Will Peterson up in Andover. He's got a Thieves game and I think two Northern Wings games against hometown hockey. Collins, he'll take it wide. No, he opts for the deke and he gets knocked off the puck by Cullen Jackson, a steady defender for the Lakers. Cutting through, we had Cullen on Saturday in our kickoff weekend. He did a nice job defending for the Lakers on Saturday. Good icing on the Thieves, reset the game. No score between the teams, heavy shot favorites. Heavy shots on goal are the Thieves. I'm not even sure that uh, Connor Weenman's got more than one save for the Thieves yet. And just like the 14th, the Thieves are zipping it. They are zipping it all over the place. Tape to tape passes all over the ice. They look good. Well-oiled machine, the Phelps leads in. He's got some space, feeds it, shot, and a big save by Weedman. His first big save on a great A opportunity for the Lakers. This one will pop out. Icing wave, hit a Laker in the O zone. Now in his own zone goes Gabrick. Gabrick clears, but held in by the Thieves. One comes all the way out. Good hustle, Vansky. 
Nudged a bit, Holmstrom shot to tip, big save, Castro two saves in front. Another save, no, this one was fired wide, but he was there. Olsen holding down the fort on the point. That's Ezra. And Remington will play forward for the Thieves. And good reversal there by the Lakers. Here's Gabrick. Gabrick will take it wide. All the way now. Gabrick def finally defended nicely by Ezra Olsen. Olsen fakes one way. Then he goes on the stretch pass to Declan Holmstrom. Excuse me, Mark Holmstrom. I thought it was Declan Holton. Holton had been kind of holding down the fort, no pun intended, uh, on this side of the ice. Now Stums with it. Stums makes a couple dekes. Gets by a four checker, flips it up to neutral. Greshner feeds one to Sandstrom. Sandstrom can't control it. Greshner clears it in the zone. All are on sides. Here come the Thieves on the forecheck. Olsen down low. Got Brahota. Brahota in front. Couldn't get it to him. Didn't have a passing lane. Greshner gets it at the point. Feeds it back down to Holmstrom. Olsen, excuse me. Now off the stick of Madura. Madura can't control it, but he gets it back. Good hustle by Prohoda. He loses it. Now Sasungza. Good hands he showed on Saturday. He'll fight through, try to get through three defenders in the high slot. Thieves take it away, no pun intended. Prohoda with it. Toe drags through a D, cuts in, shot, backhand, goal! Derek Prahada with an end-to-end -end rush, beats the goalie backhand, and the Thieves take a 1-0 lead. That was pretty. Hello, Sports Center top 10. Beat the D, faked out the goalie, and then went backhand to give the Thieves 1-0 lead. Now Collins shot, that hits off the side of the net. And the Thieves just zipping it around. Collins holds it, feeds it back, intercepted by Wienert, Weinert. Deflecting it off a stick is Stewart. Bentley Stewart gets it in deep. Now he'll add some pressure and gets it back on the half wall, but loses it. Now Collins threw a couple skates. That one finds Hogstad's stick. Collins in a little early, and we'll get an ice, like icing, excuse me, offside to learn the rules, Tony, with 3.17 to go here in the first. These lead this one one zip. over the Lakers. Christensen loses it, but he's fighting hard to get it back. Vensky got good hands. Vensky, another good stick handler. Loses it, gets it back to the point. And the Thieves putting on a clinic. First it was passing, now it's dangling. Holy smokes, look at this. Vensky gets tripped. Loses the puck. Should have been a tripping call there. Took away his goal scoring opportunity. Now Holmstrom, he'll lean in. You'd think that the team with just drove five and a half hours would look tired and the team that was from the Twin Cities would be fresh. The Thieves are taking it to the Lakers right now. Zone entry, Cullen Jackson. Takes it wide, eventually he's knocked off the puck. Holmstrom can't catch up to that pass, intercepted by Jackson, fired on net. Goes through the crease and goes wide into the corner. Lakers putting on some pressure, we hit the two minute mark. 
This one comes all the way out. Marushin feeds it around, off the stick of payment. Now heading into zone, Madura. Madura knocked off the puck. Picking up is Barkley, excuse me, Gabrick. And the Thieves gain control, but then lose it. Firing it in is Gissinger. And it goes into the corner. Gissinger gets it back through the skates. And it's taken away by Ezra Olsen. Ezra's pass off the mark. Picking up is Sisfangza. Sisfangza's pass is picked off. Here come the Thieves, under a minute to go. Entering the zone. Prahada's shot. Deflected high and wide by Liam Castro as we tick down to 44 seconds to go in the period. Stums, got hands of his own, makes a couple moves. Now he flips one in the air, but it's knocked down by Prahada. Prahada gets it for Smith. Smith's pass hops the stick of Holmstrom. Huck bounces around, we're at 22 to go. Collins leaves it for Vensky, but Vensky wasn't there. Bentley Stewart out to neutral. Picked up by Olsen. We're gonna have sides coming on the Thieves, but they wave it off. Stewart enters the zone. No, he doesn't. He shoots it in the zone as the clock is about to expire. That's it for the first. Thieves leading Lakers after one. One to nothing. We'll be back here on YHH in just a minute. At Summit Orthopedics, our team of highly specialized physicians listens to and values every one of our patients. We take a conservative approach to care to get you back to your healthy and active lifestyle. Reach your summit. Summit Orthopedics. Visit summitortho.com to make an appointment today. Group of Lots and Lots of Pizza encourages the community pickup hockey game, honors the family that builds the neighborhood known backyard rink, salutes the passion utilizing a frozen lake to play a game that's loved, endorses the stardom early mindset to build contenders, acknowledges the grit, determination, and competition of the sport, and applauds the coach that demands the before the sun comes up outdoor practice. Brew Pub Lots and Lots of Pizza supports hockey anytime, anywhere. Back for period number two between the Thieves and the Lakers. Lakers in white, Thieves in red and black. And we'll just say a lot of stripes. A lot of stripes. My good friend Isaac Velgersdijk from Gemini Athletic would be drooling. He's a stripes guy. I mean stripes in the breezers. They got stripes everywhere. It's one stripe from the ankle to the shoulder. Collins with it, flips it up, and keeping it in the zone, Zachary Gabrick. That one hits his stick, and here comes Collins. Collins and Gabrick, pair of sevens going to the corner. Ooh, a little body contact there, intercepted, good chance. Steve shot, that hits the crossbar, and kind of ski jumps into the glass, kind of skipped off the crossbar. 
over the net. Good hustle right out of the gate by the Thieves. Hustling in. Greshner holds the zone. Good hustle. Here comes LeBlanc. LeBlanc defended nicely by Hawkins Greshner. Right in the slot. And Smith will come out with it. Crosby Smith, he'll take it wide. Good hands. Cuts in, can he get a shot off? No, he makes a pass to the back door. What a pretty pass by Smith. And just missing it was Vensky, who I think is a great player. Jacek Vensky, and he gets the puck back. Cuts in, got Christensen going for the top shelf. Snagging it out of midair as Liam Castro. Score still 1-0 in favor of the Thieves with 12-10 to go here in the second period. Thanks for tuning in to today's presentation broadcast of the Minnesota Youth Elite League. Brand new league with eight organizations. Off the top of my head, I'll do my best. There's three North teams, True North Warriors, the Thieves that we're watching here tonight, and the Northern Wings, they're playing over in Andover against hometown hockey, so that's four. And you have SDP and the Minnesota Lakers, that's five. Minnesota Hockey Club, that's six. And then it's Blue Army, that's seven. I always forget one. Uh, I'll get them, I'll get them all here eventually. And entering the zone is Madura. Madura rims it around to Sasangza. Held in by Gerlach? No. Weinert. And back comes Christensen. Christensen finds Vensky. Vensky, Jacek Vensky. Enters it in, knocked off the puck. I think my eighth team that I didn't I left out was SDP. And they're hosting a tournament this weekend, put on by Youth Hockey Hub over on the west side of town. And Blue Army's putting on a tournament as well on the east side of town. So a lot of the teams from the league are playing in one or the other in that in those two events this weekend. Should be fun to see a lot of those games. I'll be at Chas uh, Prior Lake and Chaska tomorrow watching some of the the um, SDP invite, and then I'll be officiating games in the Heroes Cup, refereeing tomorrow afternoon. I'll be bouncing around all day Saturday afternoon as well before we head over to the Frozen Four NCAA Championship game, which YHH will be covering. So we're kind of all over the place this weekend. Fun weekend of hockey here in the Twin Cities for mid-April. Wrist shot, that hits the side of the net by Holton. The Lakers staying after it. They uh, brought their lunch pail here tonight. Sansom, nice pass, back door shot, glove save, Castro. Another big save. He's had three or four grade A opportunities, shots on him. He's come up big. One nothing. Thieves lead the Lakers here in the 2013 level. We saw a couple really nice players including Tyson Holmgren from the Thieves earlier today. Holy smokes, that kid can play. Olsen shot on, glove saved by Castro. Ezra Olsen, what a great name. I got some good first names on this team. Remington, Declan, Ezra, Crosby, Jacek. I mean, they get some uh, serious uh, creativity originality posts <laughs> for names here from the thieves they didn't steal any names there's my one thief joke for the game only one per game and there's the one Perhada with the shot on he's got the lone goal today for the thieves 9 14 to go we'll get a face off to the blocker side 
of Liam Castro, who has definitely uh, had his work cut out for him a little bit today already. 15, 19 minutes of hockey. And he's made probably 19 saves. He's on pace for 40, no question about it. Here's Sithwangza with it. Stops, retreats, nice pass. Gabra, Gabra, one touch pass to Madura. Madura's got some space. Olsen says, not in my backyard are you gonna come in and score. He shuts it down right as he entered the slot. Hogstad loses control of it. Now Sasangza leaves it back for his D. They'll be able to break it out. Gissinger slides to Gabrick. Gabrick off to Madura. Madura's able to get it in and hustling after it is Marushin. Marushin, one of the Sartell kids on the team. Got to see the white helmet. He's able to hustle hard after it. Battling down low, Sismangza. Finds Marushin in front and a good opportunity for Madura. He couldn't close the deal. Eight minutes to go in the second period. Thieves lead this one, 1-0. One Next goal's huge here. Good interception there, Gissinger. He's got some space. Instead of deking, he fires, and it's defended nicely by the Thieves. Rink-wide stretch pass by Olsen. That's intercepted. Now Smith gets it. Smith enters the zone. Fires, shot, goal! Crosby Smith goes far down. And the Thieves take a 2-0 lead. What a pretty shot there by Crosby Smith. And the Thieves get the insurance goal to take a 2-0 lead. Just way too many weapons for the Thieves. Up front, way too many. Prahada, Smith, Christensen, Holmstrom, Collins. Just loaded up front. Vensky. Uh, it's fun to watch. Vensky. Finds Christensen, just brought him up. He gets poked off the puck. I just got a feeling like Holmstrom, Vensky, and, and uh, Christensen are, have we just scratched the surface on these kids. They just got so much energy and so much skill. Like that right there, a little backhand pass through the blue paint. Off the mark, here comes Christensen. He's got white gloves with a touch of purple and touch of yellow. I'm thinking, the, or touch of blue, those might be Thief of River Falls gloves, and if they are, they're super cool, let me tell you. You don't see white gloves, maybe International Falls or Red Lake Falls or something, I don't know, but pretty cool gloves there. They got a couple of the guys on the team with those on. Puck squirts out, back the other way comes Weinert, Weinert. Looks, defended nicely there. Bloomdahl with a textbook defensive play. And a good chance for Stewart. On the back door, couldn't get his stick on it. Puck comes out. That one feeds through. Hogstad fights for it, can't get it. Now Gabrick. Gabrick is going to go wide. Instead, he comes back to the middle, tries to go through three thieves. They got nothing to do with that. No chance. Bending across the block, intercepted. Now Olsen. Or Sandstrom, Sandstrom. Can't control it, Lakers get it. Pass off the mark with 5.25 to go here in the second period. Thieves lead the Lakers 2-0. Nice barn, never been here before. Have you been here before, Tom? My producer's never been here either. It's nice two-sided, same amount of stands on both sides, fans on both sides, I like it. It's like a carbon copy of each other. Shot on that one, goes over. The net, 
after it hit a stick. And back come the Lakers. It's rare that I go to a metro area rink and for the very first time, being from the metro area, Olsen cuts in, loses the puck, slaps a stick in frustration. This is Remington. 50 bucks is Remington's nickname is Remy. I'll put any amount of money. He's Remy Olsen. But I don't have confirmation on that. There's like a fire alarm, something going off in here right now, and it's borderline annoying. But it goes in and it goes out. I can't tell if it's going to stay on or not. And we're in the neutral zone. Olsen, Remington, crosses the line. He's got Smith, feeds it through the paint. Shot off the side of that. Nice play there by Remington Olsen. Oh, they cut it off. Nice play, Perhada. On the four check. What a pass. And a, what a shot on net gloving it is Castro. He makes the save with four minutes exactly on the clock. And there's the fire alarm again. I don't know what it is. I'm hearing noises. That's all I'm gonna say. I see dead people. I don't know what's going on here. Back to the point. Olsen gets it low. Loses it. Now it comes up in the high slot. Miles Collins, a little snapshot. Save Castro. That carries off the side of the net. And will come out to neutral. Battling after it. This is Smith. Crosby Smith feeds it across ice. Intercepted by Gabrick. And someone loses a stick. Entering the zone is Sasmangza, makes a move, cuts through another one. And Weinman makes the save. He hasn't had many, but he's made him, made him count. That one gets a long rebound, comes out. Hard to make tight saves when you're not getting a lot of action. Weinman's done a nice job securing the shutout so far in the first 25 minutes out of 42 that we'll play here in Youth Elite League games. Everyone plays 14 minute periods, hour and a quarter games. Cutting in, Sifangza hits it, gets past Holton, Holton though, catches his skate, and it goes into the corner. Stretch pass, Sandstrom gets by his man. Sandstrom feeds it through and hits the D and almost goes in the net because Castro is had to play the cross ice pass and he got down on his butterfly and gave up the short side, almost went in but didn't. Lakers ice it with 2.18 remaining here in the second period. Tony Scott, founder, publisher, Youth Hockey, up bringing you tonight's game. Thanks for being here. This series, this teams, this league is about 10 years in the making. We were very close in 2013 or 14 to putting together a very similar league. Not as good, but would have been teams from all over the state playing in a league like this, but uh, couldn't get the commitment. And we never brought it up again until the end of 2023. Shot on, that one goes just wide, and we had wholesale buy-in from these eight groups saying, we want this, we want to play games, we want a league, we want excitement. And here we are. We're going to get it and we're going to see teams from all over state like this one called the Thieves. They won tonight and they're well on their way to winning another one unless the Lakers really can find some holes in Weinman's pads and they haven't yet tonight. Another good chance. Slapper. That one hits some traffic by payment. That doesn't look like the first time he's taken a slap shot in his life. Oh, good shot. Stums tries to clear it out. Lakers get a little overwhelmed by the pressure from the Thieves right now. Weiner enters, cuts in, goes down, goes through the crease on that one. He thought he was tripped. He might have been a little bit. Holmstrom 
Battling down low. Comes out, firing. Save by Weinert. Weinman, excuse me, with 42.7 to go here on Youth Hockey Hub. Next fall will be our 14th season of statewide coverage of youth and high school hockey, boys and girls. Sandstrom can't control it. Gissinger. Feeds to, ha to Phelps. Phelps can't control it. Now the Thieves lose it. Gissinger will bring it back. 23 to go. Always two back for the Thieves. Good defense there by Hogstead. They'll feed it through the crease. And now the other way, Olsen intercepted. Nice play by Gabrick. Gabrick will bring it back. Five to go. Gabrick through the slot. Backhander steered away at the last second by Connor Wyman. A big save for him. We'll go to a break. Two nothing lead for the Thieves. We'll be back in just a minute here on YHH. are made in the heart of America's Dairyland, Kakana, Wisconsin. Every brew pub pizza is made with the highest quality meat and veggie toppings. Them bombarded with over half a pound of award-winning Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. Snag a slice of brew pub pizza at the concession stand or enjoy a whole pizza conveniently located in the frozen pizza section of your local grocery store. Brew pub, lots and lots of pizzas, the ingredients for a great time. Generally speaking, water is a better fluid to use to rehydrate with. A big part of the importance of hydration is hydrating before the race rather than during the race. So, you know, the hydration before a long distance race in particular really starts the day before the race, probably almost 24 to 36 hours before the race to be completely hydrated. Lots and lots of pizzas. All right, we're back for period number three. Thieves in control this one. Scoreboard, not scoreboard wise, but everything else. Just a two goal lead. Lakers still have a little hope. Especially if they get a quick one here. Next goal, they have to score based on how many Mathematically, just based on how many shots and grade A opportunities they've gotten, they haven't had many. Here's Prahada. Prahada enters zone. Cuts through, gets through his guy. Shot, loses it. He had a few different ideas, I think, on that one. Good pressure, holding it in. Shot, Smith, and a glove save by Castro. He's been money so far in this game. Made, made, made a lot of saves. If they were keeping track of shots, I bet it would be 25, maybe 28 so far by the Thieves. Through the backhand shot, save Castro. He gets on top of it, yes, with 13.08 to go. This one's good. This one's good. Where's, uh, What's that? What's that? I thought McCoy Stolz was on this team. Mm -mm. Back to the point. Holton fires. Pad save. Another save. Castro. Castro. Another save. Finally, they get one by him. And Miles Collins pokes one through the pads of Castro and gives the Thieves the three nothing lead.
Christensen can't get it in. Christensen makes a nice move. And dumping the end of the thieves. Christensen wheels through, gets dragged down. I love that no call. A friend of mine, Andy Brink, who's a coach at Minnetonka, we talk about that all the time. If you skate one on three into some traffic and you get nudged or pushed down, you should not be rewarded with a penalty call there. I agree. I, I think by definition it's still a penalty, but... Uh, not a lot of refs are forgiving to guys that skate into a one, a pack of three skaters. No oh, chance. Christensen liked this kid a lot. Deeks through. Backhander, blocker save. By Castro. Losing it, chance. Holmstrom, he'll deke. Gets by his guy, Holmstrom shot. Blocker save Castro. Wow, the kid is playing well today. Stums. Backhands it out. Holton intercepted. Holton brings it through. Holton holds it. Shot. Goal! What a snipe by Declan Holton. Beats Castro. Blocker side. Bar down. And the Thieves grab a 4 0 lead. Holy shnikes, that was a snipe. So it's Holton, Prahada, Smith, and Collins, the goal scorers today for the Thieves. Now this game has gotten away from the Lakers. And I said, it just you just do math, and if you only have two grade A chances in two periods, and you're down three nothing mathematically. It doesn't bode well for your team. Shot on, that one goes wide. Good hustle there by Hudson Barber. Now Prahada comes in. Prahada slides it across and a goal. Prahada finds Remy Olsen and it's five nothing in favor of the Thieves with 10.19 to go. Like I said, they were just wearing them down slowly. It was one nothing and they were suffocating in the first period. It was two nothing and they were suffocating in the second period. A Lot more chances, a lot more shots, a lot more puck possession. And eventually that just wears a team down and you can see the Lakers, give them credit, within their skill level, within their training, they are playing their butts up. I'm the coach of this team. I'm not yelling at them after the game. They worked their butts off. They have really worked hard in this game, the Lakers. They just ran out of gas here in the third. And they just weren't getting enough great opportunities. Entering the zone. Falling on the ice. Good chance. Good defense by the Thieves. Now a long pass. Collins looking for his second of the day. Can he get a breakaway out of it? Leans in, fires. That one's just wide of the left post. Smith knocked off the puck. Getting it back. Smith deeks through, goes back against the grain, makes another deke. Feeds it through, nice pass, shot, goal. What a pass. What a pass. Smith, the Hogstad. And it's six nothing, thieves over the Lakers, and now it's like a contest of prettiness. Prahada makes a pretty goal and a pretty pass, and now Smith's got a pretty snipe and a pretty pass. Holy smokes, these kids are good. And like I said earlier, I think there's three or four more that have yet to scratch the surface with what we can, what they can deliver. Six nothing. Thieves lead the Lakers. Stums loses it. Holmstrom fires. He was looking short side high. 
Pass Castro, but Castro deflected it over the net. Big hit behind the net, no call. This one pops out, held in by the Thieves. Lakers get it. Break it out, comes out in the neutral zone. That's Madura, Madura gets it, but defended nicely by Holton, Declan Holton. Battle along the wall. Rushner, excuse me, payment, holds it out. Now Christensen. Got Holmstrom with him. Takes it wide, didn't see him. Tries to feed it through now, a little late. Barber picks it up, Hudson Barber. Deeks, cuts through now, Barber. Could go through a few guys, he's knocked out the puck. Loved him on Saturday, just works his tail off. Had a goal, I believe, for the Lakers on Saturday. This one goes wide, good hustle by Gabrick. Gabrick feeds it in, loses it, and the Thieves get it in front. Another save by Castro. Gabrick can't get it out. Good hold in there by Bloomdahl. Bloomdahl's poke ends up on Sandstrom's stick. That's the kind of the, the story of the game. All the breaks are coming for to the Thieves. Part of its skill, part of its hustle. Sandstrom. Takes it in the center, runs out of room, fires it before he is defended. Gets two shots on goal, one from the slot and one from behind the net. 6.30 to go here in the game. Thieves in control, 6-0 over the Lakers. Barber, Deeks, poked off the puck, picked up by the Thieves. Perhada with it, he's got some space. Perhada, Deeks, onto his backhand, stops, slows it down, holds it, feeds it all the way across to Bloomdahl. Bloomdahl's got all day, fires one, deflected in front by Smith, hits the post, pops up in the air, out of the net. Colin Jackson takes it himself. Now he dumps it in the zone. Looking at my text string and Bloomington native Tristan Bros gets the overtime winner for the Denver Pioneers. They're going to the national championship in St. Paul. Quite the homecoming for Tristan. Bloomington's finest. Smith in the near corner. Pulls through, goes around, feeds in front, nice pass. Smith no chance to get, get it after that. Vensky loses it. Now on the hop after it, Kasuris. Kasuris gets it in, 4.40 to go. Collins. Loses it, now he gets it back. Good hustle by Miles there. Feeding it out, intercepted. Christensen, Christensen, nice pass to Collins. Collins right back to Vensky. Vensky can't control it. Now he gets it back. Vensky puts on a clinic shot. Castro save with 4.13 to go. I don't have them. I'm losing my mind. I know, so am I. Holton, slapper. Deflected away, under four to go now. Thieves can't hold the zone. Hustling after is Madura. Madura bumped a bit. And in front, Barber a chance. Cuts loose. Gabrick fires a wrister, saved by Weinman. 
As he will, three minutes and 30 seconds away from a shutout, playing in the big club. Brought up from the selects team from Thieves on the roster. Puck is down, Barber battling with Christensen. Those two have a little bit of fight in both of them. And I don't mean a bad way at all, I just these kids fight hard when they're on the ice, they give it their all. <clears throat> on their shift, goes down. I think we're gonna get a penalty, yes, on the Thieves with three minutes to go in the game. To the box goes Christensen. 2.36 to go. No penalty on the clock. I think they're just going to guesstimate it's going to be around 2.30. Oh, there it goes up. They got a couple seconds free on the power play. Shot on. I think that's going to go in the net short handed. And I think Caster just ran out of gas. Kid has played his heart out today, and he wasn't quite ready on that one, and Sandstrom just ripped it past him. I don't think he was expecting such a hard and fast shot. Sandstrom gets the goal shorthanded. That game might be under review. I'm getting in the text string. The game goal might from Bros might be under review. Thieves try to break it out. Held in by Stums. Minute to go on the power play. Minute 23 to go in the game. Good pass, Stums. Back high shot. Blocker save. Wyman covers. And a whistle blown with a minute nine to go in the game. I, gosh, hard time picking. Um, this one comes out. Making a move, Gabrick bumped off the puck, Collins. Thieves about to be even strength. Puck comes down, we're under 30 to go in the game. Seven nothing victory for the Thieves. A little collision on the blue line between Collins and Sisbongza. Christensen battles along the wall. Back come the Thieves for one last rush, 13 to go. Christensen takes it wide, leans in, shallow angle. Deeks goes to the backhand, stops, wants to shoot it, can't. And the Lakers shut the door. 7-0 victory by the Thieves. They've won their first two games of the league by a combined score of 18-1. Congratulations to the 2013s. Our General Sports Player of the Game will be Derek Perhada from the Thieves. He had at least one goal and assist, maybe another assist along the way. Thanks for tuning in tonight's game. One more to go. We'll be back here in about 15 minutes from Champlin.